Hello, this is Sarah Satch with Posh Pooch Designs. And do you have a dirty job that needs cleaning? <laughs> well, today's video, I'm going to show you how to make my Easy Does It washcloth. And this is a really great pattern because it's easy and you can make it in different colors or in variegated and it works up great. And the neat thing about this pattern is you can use it to wash your face, you can use it to wash your dishes, or you can use it for a doily to set on your table. Maybe put a candle or a bowl of candy on it. So it's a really great and easy pattern. Like I said, solids are variegated, or you can make it all in one color. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog, and I'll put that blog link right down in the notes underneath the video. So this is my Easy Does It washcloth. Like I said, you can use it on your face, on the dishes, or for a doily. You can even scrub the sink or the bathtub with it. These are made out of 100% cotton, and there's a couple of choices that you can use to make these. You can use the sugar and cream, you can use cotton, this is Crafter's Secret, or you can use I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. This one's also Hobby Lobby. But the truth is, you can use any cotton yarn that you want to. This one is made out of I Love This Cotton. This one is made out of Sugar and Cream Christmas Variegated. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using pink, lime green, and a little bit of white. And these, of course, are Crafter's Secret. The washcloth measures about 10 inches from point to point. And you're going to need about two and a half to three ounces of your cotton yarn of choice. We're going to be using our H hook today, and this is an eight, five, point zero zero millimeter H hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and of course a needle to weave in those ends. Now this is also a really great pattern to use up all those leftover cotton scraps that you've used for other projects. So go grab you some cotton yarn, your H hook, and we'll get busy. We're going to be making a washcloth that looks similar to this one, only we're going to start with white and then we're going to add the pink and green that I showed you earlier. We work the washcloth from the center and then we work out in rounds. Alrighty, so the first thing that we need to do is make our slip knot. Put our hook in and chain five. Now we're going to take the tail, wrap it over our hook, and pull it through that loop. And we're going to pull it in and form a circle with our chains. Tie a little knot. And there's our circle. We're going to be stitching in this little circle. Put our hook in, chain three. This chain three counts as one double crochet. We're going to make 11 more double crochets so that we have a total of 12 double crochets. To stitch a double crochet, we're gonna yarn over our hook, go in that loop and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and then go through those second two. And that's our double crochet. So we need to do 10 more, so we'll have a total of 12 because remember, our chain three counted as one double crochet. Now, you may need to squinch those over to get all 12 in that circle, but we want all 12 in there. Whoops, 
got a string caught. There we go. It happens sometimes with these cotton yarns. They're more stringy sometimes. Alrighty, let's see how many we've got. Here's our chain three, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to stitch two more. All right, so here's my last double crochet. I'm going to join to the top of this chain three with a slip stitch. So I'll go in, pull up a loop, and then pull that loop through the loop on my hook. And then we're going to chain three. For row two, we're going to place two double crochets in each double crochet around. So we'll place one double crochet in the same stitch as our chain and then we'll place two double crochets in each double crochet. That means we're going from having 12 double crochets on our first round or row to having 24 double crochets on our second row. two double crochets in each double crochet around. I stitch two double crochets in each double crochet around. I'm going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch like we did before and I'm only going to chain one. So that gives us 24 double crochets. Now for row three, we're going to chain three more, which will be a total of four chains. We're going to skip the next two chains and stitch a single crochet in that next chain. Chain three, Skip the next two double crochets and stitch a single crochet in the next chain. Chain three, skip two and stitch a single crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three, skip two, stitch a single chain three, skip two, stitch a single. One, two, three, chain two, stitch a single. One, two, three, skip two, stitch a single. Whoopsie, I missed it. <laughs> there we go and chain three. Skip those next two and we'll join to that first single crochet. Went the wrong spot, didn't I? Get right in there, there we go. With a single crochet. And this is the way this should look. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain three spaces. And we're going to be stitching in those on our next row, but we're going to change colors. Now we're going to join in our new color. I'm using this bright pink. Join that in, snug it down, and we're going to stitch a single crochet right in that first single crochet. Oops, I got a string. There we go. <laughs> Had two strings. All right, so we stitched a single crochet right in that single crochet. Now we're going to go in this first chain three space <clears throat> and we're going to stitch five double crochets. 
yarn over, go in the space, there's one, two, three, five. Now the single crochet that's between those chain three spaces, we're going to stitch a single crochet. So we go in, loop, stitch single crochet, and then we'll stitch five double crochets in the chain three space. Oopsie, there we go. Pull out a little more yarn. And this is the way that this round will work. We'll put a single crochet in that single crochet between those chain three spaces, and then we'll stitch five double crochets in the chain three space. single crochet and five double crochets in that chain three space. And you'll notice I'm sort of pushing them over because I want to get all five in there. And single crochet. And because we have eight of our chain three spaces, we'll have eight clusters of five double crochets. I finished with my eight clusters of five double crochets with the single crochet in between. We need to put our last single crochet in that last single crochet, and now we're going to chain three. Then we're going to chain three more. Six chains. We're going to go to the center double crochet of the first cluster. We have five, so it'll be the third double crochet, and we're going to stitch a double crochet a chain two, and a double crochet in the top of that stitch. Now, this chain six counts as a double crochet and a chain three. The first three count as the double crochet and then the chain three. When we get back around here, we'll join to the chain three. All right, so we're going to chain three we're going to place a double crochet in that single crochet between those next two clusters and then chain three. And again, we're going to go to the center double crochet of those five double crochets and stitch a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet and then we'll chain three. And this is the way that this row will work. You'll stitch a double crochet in the single crochet, chain three, then in that center double crochet of the cluster, you'll stitch a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. And then you'll chain three and repeat. Double crochet in the single crochet, chain three, then a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that center, double crochet of the cluster.
and see how that looks. We'll continue this all the way around and then we'll join to the top of our chain three and then we're going to change colors to our bright green. I finished this row and I think it looks really pretty and would probably make a great coaster as is. <laughs> All right, so we need to join, we've done our last chain three and we need to join to the top of our chain three. So we're just gonna put a slip stitch in there. And then we need to slip stitch to this chain two space. So we're just gonna put a couple of slip stitches across that chain and then slip stitch in that it's our first corner or point. Oops, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> so I've slip stitched to here. We're going to cut our yarn. We're gonna join in our new color. Now, if you're doing this all in one color, you don't have to do the cuts and the joins, but you do need to slip stitch to this first corner. There we go. Draw in our new color. And we'll go right in there. Make a new slip stitch and chain three. Now, in this corner, you need to do another double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochets. The corners will be in all of the chain two spaces where we stitched the, the, the double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the tops of our little clusters. All right, after we do that corner, we're going to place two double crochets in this chain three space. So we'll stitch one and two. Then we'll stitch a double crochet in the top of this double crochet. Get in there. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're going to stitch two double crochets in this chain three space. Alrighty, so now we're to our next chain two space, which is our next point or corner. So in this one, we're going to stitch two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. And this is the way each of these points or corners will be stitched. And you'll have eight of them. All right, so now we're gonna go to the next chain three space and stitch two double crochets. Double crochet in the top of that one double crochet and then two double crochets in the next chain three space. And that brings us to our next corner. And we'll do it the same. Two double crochets. Whoops, I might have a knot there. Chain two and two double crochets. There we go. And then again, two double crochets in the chain three space. Being attacked by a knot. <laughs> Alrighty. And then <clears throat> a double crochet in the double crochet. And two double crochets in the chain three space. And this is how this row will work. 
you'll do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in each one of these little points or corners that's centered on the top of that cluster. And then on the side, you'll do two double crochets, one double crochet, and two double crochets. So these chain three spaces will be two double crochets, one double crochet in the double crochet, and two double crochet in the chain three space. I'm going to do it this way all the way around. And then we'll join to the top of that chain three again. Well, it looks like I've got a knot to deal with, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that and go ahead and continue stitching all the way around, and then I'll come back in and show you how to join and start our next row. I finished my round, working all the way around, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then the five in between, two, one, two, and now I'm ready to join to the top of my chain three with my slip stitch. And then I'm going to put one slip stitch in the top of that next double crochet and then slip stitch in the chain two space. And chain three. And we'll do this corner the same way that we did all the other corners and we'll do the corners the same on this row. So our chain three counts is our first double crochet and then I stitched a double crochet. We're going to chain two and then stitch two double crochets. I stitched that first corner and now I'm going to place a double crochet in each of the double crochets across. Now I'm going to stitch another corner. So I'm going to stitch two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And then I'll repeat what I just did and I'll stitch one double crochet in each double crochet across. See how it's making a nice solid row? Now we're to our next corner and again I'm going to stitch two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and two double crochets. And that's how this row is going to work. You'll stitch two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then you'll stitch a double crochet in each stitch across and repeat. 
all the way around and then we'll join to the top of our chain three. I finished this row of stitching two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then one double crochet and each double crochet across. And you'll have those eight points. And we just have one more row left to do. So we're going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch. We'll slip stitch in that next double crochet. And then we'll slip stitch in that corner. And that just gets us to the corner because we're going to change colors again. Now remember, you can change colors as often as, as I did in this video. You can do it all in one color or you can change colors every row if you want to. It's totally up to you. And it's a great way, like I said, to use up those yarn scraps. Make something useful. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and join in our new color, which we're using the pink again. We're going to go in and make a slip stitch and chain three. And this row is basically the same. We're going to do a corner. We're going to put a double crochet in each double crochet across and then do a corner. Now I will tell you, you may have your washcloth ripple up just a little bit. It's supposed to do that. It just gives it a fun look. <clears throat> Let's make our first corner. Chain three counts as our one double crochet and then we do another double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochets. And again, we're going to put one double crochet and each double crochet across. Alrighty, just one more double crochet. And isn't that pretty? <laughs> I thought this was great colors together. Alrighty, so now it's time to do another corner. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So now we're going to do another row or side I should say of one double crochet and each double crochet across and just a note of things um, when you're making items out of cotton that are very very bright colors like bright red or bright pink and you're worried about them bleeding what you can do is before you use them, soak them in cold water, add a couple of drops of white vinegar and let them soak for, you know, a couple of minutes and then rinse it in cold water. And then you can just toss it in with your other towels. And the thing about the thing about um, cotton yarn is it seems like it works better after it's been through the laundry. I just think it gets more absorbent for some reason. So if you're worried about your colors running, soak it in cold water with a couple of drops of white distilled vinegar and it will keep those colors from running. Alrighty, so we're to another corner here. Whoops, got a little string again. There we go. <clears throat> And this is how the last row of our washcloth will work. 
two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then one double crochet in each double crochet across and repeat. And we'll do that all the way around and we'll join to the top of this chain three once again. So I finished this last row doing it almost identical to the previous row, only we have more stitches in between. And I really, really love the way this white with the pink and green turned out. All right, so we're going to join to the top of this chain three. Get in there. All righty. And then we're going to cut our yarn and tie off because we're finished. All right, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to pull that to the back. There we go. And I know I have a few ends I need to weave in. And it's real important, especially working with cotton yarn, that you make sure you weave those ends in good. So I'm going to thread that tail onto my needle and I'm going to work that in or weave that in. Go one way, go another way. And sometimes it works best if you can get in those fibers and make sure you stay within the color that you're using so that it doesn't show through on the front. And try not to go into the holes, but stay in the stitches themselves, trying to go through some of the fibers of the yarn. Let me put that back on there. It got a little short. There we go. And that's how we'll weave those in. I have a little bit more, as you can see, tidying up to do. And there's the bright pink one. And here's the red one that has a little bit of darker green, has a few, has a Christmas look to it. And of course, the variegated. And like I said, these are a great way to use up your leftover cotton yarn scraps and make great and useful items. And I call this my Easy Does It washcloth because you can use it for many different uses. So make you some and get busy cleaning. <music> <music>